UK parliamentaries, human rights experts, Baloch and Sindhi political activists during an event in the Houses of Parliament have held Pakistan accountable for human rights violations in its Balochistan province. The meeting titled Baloch Lives Matter was organized by Baloch Human Rights Council. The experts stress the need for the accountability of those responsible for enforced disappearances, extrajudicial killings and resource exploitations in Balochistan. Prominent scholars and human rights activists discussed various aspects of human rights violations in Balochistan. I think Sri Lankans five years on would agree about, quote, ambitious neighbours as we reflect on Pakistan generally and Balochistan particularly at 75. Dr. Dashti has undertaken the onerous task of, yet again, focusing our attention on the harrowing conditions and continuing human rights violations in Pakistan's largest, least populated and least developed minimum rich province. We Baloch and Sindhis have done a crime and that, that is why we are being punished. And our crime is that 80% of wealth of Pakistan comes from nowhere but Balochistan and Sindh. Because the entire strategic, geostrategic importance of Pakistan entire that comes from Balochistan and Sindh. That this is one of the first times that any meeting has taken place in the British House of Parliament on Balochistan. So it's a very important, significant first step towards engaging more members of the House of Commons and the House of Lords in exposing Pakistan's human rights abuses and war crimes in occupied Balochistan. I hope that out of this meeting, we will be able to engage with more MPs to put pressure on the government in particular to crack down on arms sales to Pakistan and on civilian aid until Pakistan starts respecting human rights. That supporting repressive human rights abusive regimes eventually <coughs> ends in disaster. Uh, Saddam Hussein was the rest's friend and ally until he wasn't. Colonel Gaddafi in Libya was supported in the West friends and ally until it wasn't. And I can keep going with that list and raising nuclear weapons. Considering the scale and magnitude of crimes against humanity in Balochistan, it was suggested that the UK Parliament and the international community should initiate inquiries into the situation and make Pakistan answerable for failing to comply with its international obligations.